In this video, we're going to be discussing why, regardless of manufacturer, diesel engines get better fuel economy than gasoline engines. Hey, so in this video, we're going to be discussing why diesel engines are more fuel efficient than a comparable gasoline engine. You may have noticed while shopping for cars or trucks or just heard that diesel engines get better miles per gallon. And they do, in general, get better miles per gallon. And what's the reason for that? Well, there's actually a lot of reasons for that, and we're going to be discussing them in this video. And basically, two of the main differences are differences between the diesel fuel and gasoline itself and engineering differences between a gasoline engine and a diesel engine. Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. So I pulled these numbers from the fueleconomy.gov website and looking manufacturer to manufacturer, car to car model, you can see that the diesel engine gets much better fuel economy. On this Jaguar F-Pace, you'll be getting 29 miles per gallon compared to 20 miles per gallon. And that is on the same model vehicle. Now let's compare another one. We have a Chevy Colorado, 25 miles to the gallon, opposed to 20 miles per gallon, and this is the same truck. Now you may be saying, hey, well the displacement's higher on the gasoline engine. So here's the same truck with a smaller displacement gasoline engine compared to the larger displacement diesel engine. And you'll see that the diesel engine still gets better fuel economy. So let's discuss why that is. Okay, so let's start with the biggest difference between gas and diesel, and that is the fuel itself. Both gasoline and diesel are refined petroleum products, but there's one big difference between the two. One has more energy per gallon than the other. A gallon of gasoline has about 31,000 calories per gallon, opposed to a gallon of diesel has about 35,000 calories per gallon. So you get about 4,000 calories more per gallon of diesel than you do to gas, and that's a big difference. If you think about it, a gallon of milk only has 2,400 calories in it, and that will supply your body with enough calories for a whole day. But your engine takes a lot more calories to get that machine moving. So what does this calorie difference mean? Well, if your car burns 1,000 calories to go a mile, burning one gallon of gasoline will get you 31 miles. Now, let's take the same car and put one gallon of diesel fuel in it. It will go 35 miles. Now, this is just based on the calorie use. No vehicle can run on gas or diesel. Okay, so you've seen that there's a big difference between gas and diesel itself. But what about the differences between the engineering of the engines that make diesel more fuel efficient? Well, one thing is that diesel combusts at somewhat of a lower temperature than gas and burns at a slower rate. This enables the diesel fuel to have a higher thermal efficiency, which means the diesel converts more of its energy into mechanical motion and energy than to heat, than gasoline. Typically, a gasoline engine runs around 35% thermal efficiency, whereas a diesel can run closer to 45%. So you're talking a 10% difference in thermal efficiency, and that is a big difference. Now let's talk about some of the other design features of a diesel engine that actually enable it to run more efficiently. So let's compare the two Chevy Colorado engines that had somewhat similar displacement and show you some of the specs on them. Okay, so looking at the inline four-cylinder gas engine, you can see it makes 191 foot-pounds of torque at 4,400 RPM. Now looking at the inline four diesel, it makes 369 foot-pounds of torque at 2,000 RPM. So almost twice as much torque at half the RPM. Now this isn't to say that diesel engines are cheaper. They're usually much more expensive. Okay, so you can see that the diesel engine makes a lot more torque at a lot lower RPM, and that's a good thing. The reason for that is a diesel engine typically has a higher compression ratio and a longer stroke than a gasoline engine, which enables it to make more torque. And torque is the turning 
ability of your engine to turn the wheels and that's really what gets you down the road now diesels don't typically rev as high so they might have a lower horsepower rating overall but their torque is usually substantially higher than a comparable size gasoline engine now what makes running at a lower rpm better well as your rpms increase so does the losses in friction in your engine so as your rpms increase you're compressing valve springs you're rotating a camshaft or camshafts you're moving rocker arms you're moving your crankshaft you're moving water pump um, alternator all these things as the rpms increase it's pulling little inefficiencies away from your your engine so as you get higher and higher in rpms your engine typically gets less and less efficient just because of all the friction losses between all the components as they rev higher and higher now let's discuss another thing about a diesel engine the turbocharger nearly all diesel engines are turbo diesels meaning they're turbocharged unlike a gasoline which typically has some sort of throttle control now the difference is in a throttle plate setup you're restricting the air getting to the engine which means as the piston comes down it's pulling a vacuum which actually takes energy to do so you're taking energy to pull this heavy vacuum to suck in air and fuel whereas on a diesel engine you have a turbocharger which is supplying pressurized air to that cylinder so opposed to the piston having to work to pull down the compressed air from the turbocharger is actually force feeding air into the cylinder which is actually helping the piston to go down that additional air is then compressed and ignited which then gives you a more efficient engine now the differences between a diesel and a gasoline engine also in the combustion process is a very big difference gasoline engines need to run around 14 to 1 on their fuel to air ratio to run efficiently a diesel however always runs lean which means it has more than 14 parts air to the one part fuel because a diesel does not rely on the air and fuel mixture to be mixed before it enters the combustion chamber unlike a gasoline engine so in a diesel you give it as much air as you possibly can you're force feeding air in there with a turbocharger as much air as it'll take under very high compression ratios up to 20 to 1 compression ratio typically a gas engine's only running around 10 to 1 compression ratio and then at the very top of the compression stroke you add a little bit of fuel it ignites it burns all the fuel due to there being an overabundance of oxygen unlike in a rich condition in a gasoline engine where it will not efficiently burn all the fuel because it doesn't have enough oxygen to oxidize the fuel as it burns this is just another reason why a diesel engine will run more efficiently and get you better fuel economy now this isn't to say that a diesel engine will always give you better fuel economy i mean let's say if you put up you know a 15 liter truck engine in your car and ran it it's not going to get the same mileage as you know your little inline four cylinder but any comparable size diesel engine compared to an automotive gasoline engine is going to give you better fuel economy it's just science okay I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you.